What's up, yours truly once again, Michael Ferreira with another Style Your Life. And we are once again bringing you some valuable insight that you can use, that you can apply to your life right now and enhance your life immediately. It's not about spending drastic amounts of money or revenue or going out of your way or being in a, in a space that, that, that you're not able to do. But styling your life is truly about creating the experiences, creating the life that you desire. And there is a very strategic way about doing that. And on this channel and on this episode, we will be sharing with you some quick ideas exactly how to do that and continue to enhance and style your life. Now, I actually didn't really plan this episode, but I truly believe when things come from your heart and come from a space of being grateful and being happy from where, from where you are, it can allow for great things to come about. And I think that by me, you know, bringing this to the forefront and being able to share something like this in this podcast platform and privilege that I have, it allows for new opportunities and creativity to be formed. So I'm here at the beautiful Wardolph Astoria Resort and Hotel in Beverly Hills. And I remember when this this hotel was being built since I, I live and I'm born and raised here in Los Angeles. And it gave me a creative idea on how we can use the local spots and the local places they are, that we already have and the environments that we are already in to maximize and style our life at a higher level. Because many times we may get so caught up in traveling the world and going to, uh, to China or Europe or, or Asia or some place else that is not the norm. But many times there's gems right where you live but because you live there, you may not be maximizing its use or maximizing the potential that it can bring in styling your life. So I'll share with you some quick tips that I do on a regular basis to continue to keep my mind and my body and my spirit and mainly my mentality in the right place so that I'm always styling, creating the life that I desire. I truly believe that that luxury is a choice. And the reason that I feel that it's a choice is because Luxury is a very relative term and what may be luxury to you may not be to someone else and vice versa. So the luxury lifestyle and the, and the styling that we want to create for ourselves is what we choose to make of it. And as we choose to make that life and styling life to what we are, we have to know what we enjoy. And me personally, I do like to have things that are out of the ordinary as a custom and lifestyle manager and, and designer, I like to have things that are not normal. I like to have exclusivity. I like to have things that everyone cannot have, but that's me. And that's a choice that I choose to make in styling my life. And, and those individuals that choose to have different experiences of maybe giving or donating or volunteering or going to other places that allows for, for other things that are outside of just stuff and stuff are not the things that should bring us happy stuff and things material things should allow us to enhance the happiness that we already have so one strategy that I use to always style my life even when I'm at home is try to find the spaces that are relatively exclusive and that are not the norm for everybody so for example, today I had the privilege of being at, a, at an event. As you know, I go to a lot of events where I can learn and I can gain some insight for my business and for my clients. And, and, and in this organization that I'm, that I'm a part of here at EMC, we get the opportunity to be in some very private events, some very exclusive events, some behind the scenes chef work, um, uh, behind the scenes of the real, real luxury lifestyle brand, behind the scenes over at luxury hotels and things all over the world. And today I had the opportunity and privilege of being at the Waldorf Astoria here in Beverly Hills for, for an event, particularly on coaching and, 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 and enhancing our clients' lives. And during that event, I use one of the strategies that I often use when I get to go to luxury or fancy places that are not the norm for everyone. And I turn that into an experience that can allow my life to be enhanced by 
using the opportunity to my advantage. So one thing that I do when I go to, to special and exclusive events like this morning, the event started at, I want to say 10 a.m. or something like that. One thing that I try to do is I actually intentionally try to go earlier. And by, tr by intentionally going earlier, I get an opportunity to really be at peace. I like the opportunity to know where you know restrooms are, maybe know where the environment is, know exactly where the room is. And I could actually enter the room and walk into that room in a space where I'm, I'm much more much more acclimated with or acquainted with because I'm not walking in blind. And that is key. I, I like to, to get there early because now I get to, I know the environment, I know what to expect. I know like, okay, this is a space where I can navigate and be cool and go to fun and creative environments. And the world office, it's just a great place. It's a great, a great travel destination. It's a great place for people that are international. A lot of, uh, a lot of individuals on the political realm, whether U.S. or international, uh, do stay at a, at a place like this, mainly because of the exclusivity and, and the, private, the privacy and the, the, the service level that is, that is given here. And I've had the opportunity of, of visiting and staying in locations like this, mainly just out of you know, blessings of my parents and you know, growing up and traveling and, and being at places that are, that are unique. So, so I understand the value that it brings to your life. So going back to the arriving early and then maximizing the environment. So the reason why in styling your life these are valuable is because when you put yourself in environments that you desire to be the norm for you, your mind and your body automatically begins to see I'm supposed to have this or I deserve this or I should be here, or I should be in this environment. So by getting there early and using the, the event that you're gonna attend anyway, as an opportunity to go early, experience it, et cetera, et cetera, it gives you an opportunity, again, to train your mind, to train your body, to know that we should really be in these spaces and that it should be the norm. And in styling your life, that's exactly what we should be doing. We should be putting ourselves in the places that we want to and that we desire to have. Because if you desire it, then guess what? You should absolutely do it. After that, now, I went to the event. It was a beautiful setup, you know, great, great lecture that I got to gain some valuable insight that I could use and pass on to my clients. And some of it that you you hear on in, in, in one of these uh, sessions that I'll share with you, video, audio, as usual. And, and then, after the event, I do the same thing. <laughs> now... After the event is over, I'm doing simply what I'm doing right now. I got a chance of talking with some of the, the representatives here at, at the Waldorf, and I share with them a little bit about what I do in Style Your Life, and they were supportive in that and saying that, you know, whatever you need, if we could help you, et cetera, et cetera, please do it. And one thing that I like to do is support them. And the way that you can support them is by doing something simple without, you know, uh, compromising what you're able to do. And many times that is simply buying food, you know, having lunch, uh, getting, getting a beverage, a drink, uh, whatever it may be, and, and, and enjoying the experience rather than just, oh, I have to go to this fancy, luxurious location, I'm here, goodbye, etc. It's about using that to your advantage that can allow you uh, to actually maximize what you're doing in that environment. Now what that does for you is it shows the staff and it shows the other people that are in the environment that you know might be employed or servicing the clients that are here. It shows them that you're not there just freeloading. You are there to be you know, a part of the festivities. It may not be festivities, but you're a guest and you deserve whatever lifestyle that you desire. So by you, you know, giving revenue, giving some of your assets to that environment, Again, you're part of the environment. So just little things. Sometimes it is, you know, a $20 beverage or a $20 whatever it is. Or maybe it is a full out, you know, lunch or, or dinner or whatever it may be. But again, it comes back to training and putting your mind into the space that it should be in, should be in so you can continue to, to style your life. Now, 
that's the beginning, the middle, and the end of, of attending an event that you have to be at anyway or that you're going to anyway. Choose, use that to, to maximize the opportunity. Same thing with traveling. When you're traveling to a destination for either a conference or a meeting or something, something of the sort, do the same thing. What happens if you could invest one day more or two days more by arriving early to that event, staying a little longer in that city, so again, you can, you can start creating and styling your life and maybe even fostering relationships that you can use in the future and, and go back to explore the city, go to some of the private shops, some of the exclusive locations, dinners, etc. As usual, we always have tips and insights on that. Please reach out to us if we can be valuable in that capacity. But you can do this yourself. Just showing up early and just being in a position where you can give, where you can learn and explore. And now you're creating the life that you desire. So using events and opportunities that you're already going to do for work or whatever it is, like use that as an opportunity to create and design and style the life that you truly, truly desire. As you all know, we can create everything as long as we truly believe it. Now, the next level in going above and beyond and going into environments that you're not used to to style and create the life that you want is putting yourself in uncomfortable situations. And I know many of you have heard this from some of my other podcasts or some of my other videos or content pieces, but when you put yourself in, in spaces that you're uncomfortable, it automatically allows you to grow. Because if you're always staying in an environment that you're used to, that you know what's going to happen, you know what it is, it is what it is. You, there's, there's no, yes, you may be better at it, you may become, you know, more, more valuable to those things that you already know. I get that. That is important to continue to enhance those things. But the growth comes when we get to get out of our comfort zone. So another thing that I like to do here in Los Angeles is I intentionally explore spaces that I've never been or I intentionally explore spaces that can allow me to to go to a higher level and sometimes that that going to a higher level means like going to a, a beautiful high-rise building it, it allows going to a space that I'm not used to or a luxurious hotel or or a private suite at or a private club or a private whatever it may be shop store shopping experience those are the things that can allow us to grow because if we always shop at the same places we always dine at the same restaurants we allow us to always go to the same location drive the same drive take the same route there's nothing new and growth comes when there's something new that happens inside of your life. So that's a huge challenge I encourage you to do. I intentionally do it myself all the time. I try to find places that is like, yo, high net worth people go here. Or a lot of creative people go here, or movie directors, or or, 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 or television directors, or, or creative, or artists, or designers. A lot of people go here. What if I could just be there or find my way in there? And a lot of times by having the charisma and the personality that you've heard in some of our other content, it allows for those conversations and opportunities to happen. So I intentionally do that, put myself in places that, man, why would I go to the ward off Astoria in the morning just to have breakfast? That's a way to, to grow. That's a way to go outside of the norm. What if you can travel, you know, 65 miles to go outside of your town to a restaurant that only takes reservations but you planned it ahead to put yourself inside of that environment those are the things that can allow you to go outside of your comfort zone a place that requires you to wear a tuxedo requires you to wear a dinner jacket or a suit or whatever it is that's not the norm for you that's where growth comes and i think in styling our life we have to put ourselves in environments that allow us to be uncomfortable and when you get to the point like I have, and it's still growing, I wouldn't say completely, and still growing. When we get to this place where we're comfortable with being uncomfortable, that's the win. That's the win. Because you, you always get to be you. And I think when you're, when you're comfortable in a space that you're not familiar with, that, you're, that you haven't been before, when you go on a journey that you, you haven't taken, and you're still comfortable in not knowing or comfortable in the unknown, wow, 
your your presence, your personality, and your persona truly gets to shine. And I think that is huge because that that allows your you to know that you're growing and creating to whatever it is that you want to do. Uh, I think I always challenge you all in, in, in these podcasts and in these, these audio and video recordings, I always challenge you to, to try it. Try these things. If they work for you, great. If they don't, you know, dump it, move on and, and try something different. Uh, it's, it's many times I grab a tablet, I grab a laptop or just go into a space where I could read a book enhance my knowledge do whatever it is just to be in the environment and by being in the environments that you desire to attend and desire to make the norm whether that be in work whether that be in social lives whether that be in 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 entertainment in 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 leisure and in friendships whatever it is surround yourselves environments that you want to make the norm and that's how we that's how we do it that's how we create the life that we desire by being around other attorneys that you desire to associate with by being around uh, athletes and entertainers or musicians or business professionals or entrepreneurs when you're in that environment in that circle then guess what it you're supposed to be and that's the desire of your heart and as you create the ways to do it that's where we get to win and and I like to do this lastly and I'll close with this and and I'll, I'll encourage you in something that I use and is doing it when there's a challenging moment inside of your life when everything is not easy when when you may have a either a financial challenge a, a relationship or personal challenge a, a business challenge a bad day a bad bad week or so-called bad you know how i feel about bad days they don't really exist but a not so good week at work put yourself in an environment that you love that you that you want to happen that you love to be in whether that be a beach a, a rooftop I love rooftops whether that be a restaurant and it might be with yourself or it might be with a friend but I often encourage it to be alone be with yourself to to reevaluate take a look at what happened what didn't go so well or as planned that you may have wanted to be better and just just take some moments to evaluate that. It doesn't have to be long. It doesn't have to be two hours or five hours of evaluation. Sometimes that is the case, but not always. Maybe it would. Maybe it's simply inviting a friend out to lunch, but you get there thirty or forty minutes earlier, just so you can be with be be with yourself. Maybe have a book. Maybe have a notepad. Write something down. Evaluate it, and just be in a space that that is to your lifestyle and your standard and enjoy it and i love to do that all the time i, I many times I, I i get away from from wife i get away from daughter even if it's for a couple hours just to be in a space where i could you know remind myself to stay big and 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 have the mentality of thinking and and believing big which i preach and just just get getting it getting away from from all of the stuff and doing a quick inventory whether that be you know mentally you know d- designing drawing whatever it is that that makes you happy and brings you enjoyment get into a space that you desire to get to or that you love to be in and just be there with yourself and do the things that you you desire to do it may even turn into new opportunities new relationships conversations that may happen but but getting away and being in a space that you love outside of the home outside of the the standard stuff and it'll allow you to reconnect with yourself re re reorganize the mind and then when you get back to your normal environments of family friends parents colleagues you're back at the point where you're winning because winning is the key and i think as you as you create and evolve in your in your in your personal life it will automatically carry carry over to business family friends leisure entertainment and the list goes on so in this session as usual i try to keep it concise and and try to leave you with some information i know it will touch somebody and if it does please let me know please comment please uh please like please subscribe but more importantly just use the information it's not about 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 clicks and likes and subscribes i think if this information is valuable to you please please share it with somebody else i think 
the greatest gift that we can give is when we give to others, you know, and share the information and knowledge that we have. And I, as you know, this new journey in, me, in this podcast, Style Your Life, is a great way for me to give some of the life experiences, the entrepreneurship experiences, and, and the strategies that I've used to create success that I could hopefully, and I know will implement somebody that they will carry on in their lives. So once again, yours truly, please share with me what's your biggest takeaway. Uh, comment. Um, please, please subscribe. Please let me know via text, email, whatever it is. But please use the information and let me know what's your biggest takeaway from this piece of information. Thank you again for your support. And we, we truly see you again and speak with you again on our, on our, on our new podcast and our next podcast, or should I say. And we truly appreciate your support. We truly appreciate your follow. And we'll see you next time and talk to you next time on the podcast. See you soon. Peace. Style your life as usual. You can have everything in life you want, as long as you truly believe it.